Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sixth module, the sixth module in the I Can Door eight step complete add to sale framework. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering the letter O. Now, let's dive in and let's find out what the letter O represents in this eight step framework. So I'm going to share my screen with you, if that's okay. And let's say if I share the right screen, <laughs> which I didn't in the last video, apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, now let's go through this and let's find out what the O represents. Now the O represents, in our opinion, if I go through this the right way. Okay, so the O represents offer producing them, giving them a highly compelling offer. In other words, making them an offer that they simply cannot refuse. Now, this is what we call the Godfather offer. You remember from that movie uh, from 1972? Wow, it's unbelievable that it's already more than 50 years old. Uh, but this is the movie which starred uh, an enigmatic Marlon Brando uh, reprising the role of the Godfather. So the head of this La Casa Nostra, this mafia family uh, depicted by Francis Ford Coppola, an absolutely incredible, incredible movie. Uh, so, uh, and what they're trying to do is they're, they're just trying to put it into your head, like almost like the Godfather. Whenever the Godfather did a favor, for example, for one of the Italian businessmen in the in the in the neighborhood, there eventually he was going to come back and he was going to call upon that person. And they would definitely, uh, whenever he asked them to do something, they would not be able to refuse the godfather's offer, especially because he came to them on their on his daughter's wedding day. OK, so now what we're going to be covering inside this lesson is that we're going to be covering be out something. We're going you're going to see that in a moment. And then we're going to cover objection handling. Now, we're going to spend a lot of time on objection handling because objection handling is so, so, so important. Then we're going to go through omnipresent, uh, the omnipresence lesson. They're using metricool.com uh, for our omnipresent strategy. Then we're going to show you there the opportunities that you can present that make them absolute no-brainers for all of your potential clients. And then finally, we're going to go over the offer, the big idea, which is all about the premise, uh, the positioning and the promise. OK, a lot of people just spend a lot of time on the promise, uh, the big idea, which is completely wrong. We have to establish the positioning. We have to establish the premise first and foremost. But anyway, uh, there. without further ado, let's get started. So the first one, be out what? Dare to stand out. You see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you the, the skills, these advanced sales and marketing skills, this roadmap, this success roadmap, if you want, uh, to make it absolutely clear that if you put all of these strategies uh, into the correct order, you get them all working in harmony. And remember, you can always reach out myself or a member of my team to get there much faster, to get there faster than you ever thought possible. OK, and it's all about dare to be outstanding. So as I famously said to one of my uh, clients, the IVR coach, uh, there we put him out into a field and he was out there, he was in his element, he had his uh, hands crossed. You'll see about uh, there in a moment what type of pose he was adopting. But uh, basically there the, uh, the, the premise was this, when somebody calls you today, I said to this person and I say it to you, Go outside and stand and tell your colleagues there that you've gone outside to stand. And so whenever your client calls you and says, hello, Bob, hello, Saeb, hello, Rob, uh, hello there, Matt, hello, uh, how are you doing? Why are you out there? And then you tell them, I am standing outside because I am outstanding. And it's a little bit tongue in cheek. Yes, it is. But it's all about the concept there. Are it's the same that what we did in the letter C with the new celebrity. The new celebrity in town is, of course, you. All of you brave people who have shown up, who have stood up, who have taken action, and who are now, incredibly, into module six of the course. So we're more than halfway there, and we're very, very, very close to the finish line. 
And believe you me, if we get this in place, if we deal with objection handling now, and if we deal with it properly, then this is really going to cement our future for whenever we come into the next module, which contains very important things like the ultimate offer blueprint, the ultimate offer formula, this 6H2O2R formula. You, you'll find out all about that in the next module, don't you worry. But it's very, very, very exciting stuff. But this objection handling is very, very important. And it's perhaps the single, the most important lesson that, that I've ever been taught. And I remember whenever I was dealing with all of my clients, it has been, uh, let's say, for example, in 2019, it was the most attended lesson. 2020, the most attended lesson. 2021, the most attended lesson. 2022, the most attended lesson. And we're hoping to repeat this in the challenge, obviously, in 2023. But it's the most attended. And there is a reason for this. So please, please, please pay particular attention. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, please come over and please watch uh, the, the full video, the full video inside the content training portal. Remember, you can get all, all of these courses, every single one of them, the, uh, the roadmap course, the invite course, the, all of the funnels, all of these strategies, all of these scripts there that we're using for $7 US, $7 all in for the lifetime of the internet. And you see, why do I do that? I do that because quite simply, I know the amount of work there that's involved. And once I help you, you see, for free or for, let's say, for these seven bucks, uh, there, what you're going to do is you're going to start getting these results in advance. I'm going to give you some free leads, uh, some free quality scored leads. I'm going to show you how to get some traffic. I'm going to show you how to generate omnipresence, et cetera. And then for the low, low price of seven American dollars, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to take you even further. And then what you're going to realize, well, hold on a second, success is a team game. And then you're going to reach out to myself and to a member of my team uh, there, and you're going to ask us, how can we do this faster than you ever thought possible? And this is where it really comes in. Now, objection handling is so important, but please, please, please pay attention to the theory and then pay attention to the homework steps there that I'm asking you to do at the end of this lesson, okay? Right, so this is where we're at. Uh, apologies for the background noise. Uh, the, <laughs> every day they are drilling. I think they're drilling for oil, uh, but I do apologize for, uh, apologize for the background noise. Uh, it happens every day. It's it's seven days a week here at the moment. It's driving me mental. Uh, so benefit number six, O is for objection handling. By focusing and by diffusing their objections, then we leave their minds clear to focus on you and your offer. Now think about this. Think about this. It's very important. And that lovely image on, on the right uh, from the carrot coach. Remember, there are more than one <laughs> color of carrots. Carrots are very, very nationalistic. Now, this is the first and the foremost and the most important point that you have to remember. Every single adult out there, every single adult out there, every single one will have objections. Any person who tells you that they do not have objections is a liar or a fool. And trust me, you don't want to be working with any of those people. I always, always, always ask, and you'll see later on in the 12 question framework, there are about, what is it, almost 50% of the questions are devoted to these objections or challenges that these people may have. Even there, the, the URL there that we're using, the URL that we're constantly telling people to type in for this five day challenge, for this five day scale your coaching biz, your speaking biz, your podcasting biz challenge is challenge.icandor.net. So everybody has objections. An objection is a challenge, a challenge that they're confronted with. Now think about that. It's very important. Now you see where, where you are now in these funnels. Uh, so now we're getting down towards it. So you see, now we're getting towards the nitty gritty. Because remember, you see at the end, what we're dealing with is the results. But the results we're tracking all the way through anyway. So it's very, very important. Okay, so everybody has objections. So think of these as like ticking time bombs, as ticking sticks of dynamite that are, that are about to go boom. And I, I love some of these objections that, that people have. Oh, what if they get mad at me? What if they shout at me? 
Uh, what if we are not a good fit or a great fit or a truly excellent fit for one another? Think about it. Uh, then what if they say horrible or bad things about me on the interweb? Said nobody, never, ever, ever. You know, the internet exists and as for as long as the internet has existed. I've been using the internet since 1992. And believe you me, there are people who are saying bad things then. People are still saying bad things now. I even got my first internet troll in the in the form of this coach in huge air quotes, uh, coach Dan Gordon from L.A. in uh, the United States of America. And uh, there this person poof, <laughs> decided to uh, uh, deluge me with horrible things, horrible contents. It exists. Get over it. Get over it uh, there and uh, don't don't uh, become blocked uh, about this. It's all about, you see, getting the right mindset. And you see, the fourth and the final one uh, there for the moment is, of course, there will be more. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a list of them. But these are the main ones. What if they say no? What if they say no? <laughs> Believe you me, uh, everybody will, more than 51% of the people will say no. Okay? Nobody ever gets you know, like an ultimate there, or let's say in very, very rare instances, we have had some customers that have done much better than this. But uh, what you're talking about is there, you have to, it's part and parcel of the game. But through these automation, through these funnel sequences, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of a lot of the dead wood, a lot of the time wasters, the tire kickers, the people that would never ever purchase your course or your program in a month of Sundays. OK, so this is what we're trying to get away from. And this is what we're trying to move towards. So think of yourself as one of those bomb disposal experts, one of those army bomb disposal experts who has set off uh, to do a controlled explosion. And you see what you're doing is there you're going over there, you're sending the robot in uh, and the robot is going in there and you're instructing the robot how to do a controlled explosion on this mine or on this exploded bomb or whatever it is. And boom, it goes off. So you've diffused it, you've diffused it, you've diffused it, you've diffused it. And you see pretty much, it's a bit like uh, having a migraine headache. There are, these are things that are occupying their minds. They're upsetting them. They're putting them there at conflict with one another. And what you're doing is you're coming in to resolve the situation, okay? So you're diffusing these bombs. So think of yourself as, I think you call these people sappers. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to be a sapper. Okay. Now, I want to introduce you to a movie. Hmm. Excuse me. I've been talking all day again. And it's a very, very famous movie. The seminal movie in the, in the field of teaching these advanced sales and marketing skills. And you see, the movie has got an all-star cast. There's, what is it? There's uh, Jack Lemmon, uh, there, there's Ed Harris. There's uh, there's quite a lot of these famous people. But the movie in particular, the person that captured the limelight was a very young Canadian actor called Alec Baldwin. He comes from a large line of Baldwin brothers. I think there's about a million of them or something. They're, they're from Canada. And uh, <laughs> I've never counted them, so please don't quote me on that. Uh, maybe there's not a million, uh, probably not, but it's somewhere close to that number. And he introduces us to two very, very, very famous marketing concepts, these sales and marketing concepts, because he's sitting there and, you know, he comes into this office in this high powered BMW that costs more than all of the sales team are earning. And there's Ed Harris and there's Jack Lemon sitting there with their feet up on the desk and they're going, oh, the leads are bad, or it's a bad day of the week, or I had too much to drink last night, or, you know, let's say in these days, you could probably equate it to, I was binging on Netflix or something else or something else uh, last night, and then not giving this my full priority, my full attention. And he gets in there and he hammers the desk. Now you should download this on YouTube because this exact speech there where he covers these two concepts, this ABC, it's not like a Jackson 5 song, trust me, and ADA, and this is not. I, I was uh, studying a programming language at that time in college, and it was called ADA. Uh, <laughs> and I thought it was to do with this computer programming language. It's not a computer programming language. Please trust me on that. And these are the concepts. But as always, we try to change them around a little bit 
uh, in our inside our ICANN door eight step this complete add to sale framework. Okay, so let's see there what we do. Let's see. Right, and uh, now if I can get this to move in the right direction. Okay. Now that as you can see on the board there, that's uh, that's Alec Baldwin. That's the actor, uh, the Canadian actor, and he's there in front of the board. And, and the letters, the words on the board say, "Always be closing." We take it one step further, and I want to show you how we take it to always be connecting, always be connecting, and this is so important. Because you see, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to build relationships. Remember, as I've said time and time again, in those lists that I've given you, that I've given you these 123, these quality scored leads, there is no money. There is no intrinsical value in that list on its own. And, you know, like I've, I've talked to some people about this and like the people are saying, oh yes, it's stored safely on my computer and it's also stored safely in the cloud, but I haven't done a thing with it. Yeah, there is no money in that list, you see. The money is in the relationship that you will build with that list. And this is why I disagree with the statement, ABC, always be closing. I prefer it to mean to represent always be connecting because when you build a relationship with somebody, Let's say, for example, with your life partner, with your husband, your wife, your spouse, whatever, uh, then this is what you're doing. You're building a relationship. When you build a business partnership with somebody, you're building a relationship. And this is what you should be doing with all of your clients. You see, we are now in the high leagues. We're not in there. I'm not in this for the seven bucks, for the seven American dollars there for all of my courses, all in for the lifetime of the Internet. No, 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 no. I am in this. I am in the business of helping people, helping people, helping you coaches, helping you speakers, you podcast hosts, you luxury retreat providers to make a difference, to make a difference by these uh, through these advanced sales and marketing principles. OK, these strategies, if you want, uh, there are that we're trying to build into this success roadmap, this success roadmap, your success roadmap. So this is always be connecting. Remember this, it is so important. Now, then he goes on to the second concept, ADA. Now, this is a very, very important one because I was listening to a TED talk and the TED talk was about something there that is called the Wonder Woman pose. Now, who is Wonder Woman? I grew up in the 1970s, the 1980s, and there was this famous actor, uh, what was it, Elena Carter, and uh, there, no, it was Joanne, Julie Carter, oh, I can't remember, a beautiful young woman, and she was a fantastic actress, and she portrayed the, world, the role of this fictitious Marvel superhero called Wonder Woman. And she was there, and what she would do is there, she would stick her chest out, she would put her head up like this, and uh, she would have her hands on her hips. And this has been called the Wonder Woman pose. And why did she adopt this Wonder Woman pose? Because now a lot of these uh, mindset coaches are telling us that this increases our testosterone because of the way that we're holding our body, because of the way that we're projecting our body, our chest forward, our hands on our hips and our head held upwards like we are proud there to deliver this message. So it increases your testosterone and it decreases your cortisol levels, the levels that produce stress or let's say these harmful toxins in your body. Now the poster there that I've got here is not of Wonder Woman per se, uh, because if I did, uh, it would probably be distracted. Those are beautiful posters and <laughs> it's, it's not about that. So this is all about this uh, sports person. Uh, this sport, this very, very, very famous sports person, he's now an actor. He, he is French and his name is Eric Cantona. And Eric Cantona uh, very famously played uh, for one of the, the most famous teams, one of the, the richest teams certainly in the world, uh, because they also own a baseball team and a baseball stadium in uh, the United States. And this is, of course, Manchester United. So what they're doing here is this is a very clever commercial from from Nike and they've got the flag of England uh, there with the St. George's cross in the back. And it's the only color there that's appearing apart from the red and white Nike logo. 
Now, uh, the shirt that Eric is wearing, the Manchester United shirt, uh, it's actually red and white, but because it's done in grayscale here, it has a fantastic effect. Now, they tried several poses in this, uh, in this photo shoot, including the very, very famous Wonder Woman pose, because you see Eric there, uh, there, he is supremely confident. He has got his collar turned up. He has got his chest out and he has got his arms folded. And also there are others with his hands on his hips. And what it is, it's a little bit tongue in cheek. It's a little bit uh, jus de mots, as the French would say. It's a play in words. It's tongue in cheek because what they're suggesting in the right hand side is and now listen to this for a, a capturing statement uh, for an interrupt. 66, in other words, 1966 uh, was a great year for English football or soccer, as you people in North America would call it. Uh, but this is <laughs> something then, because if you have ever watched uh, a soccer game uh, from the United Kingdom, uh, from England, from Scotland, or from Wales, no, 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 I'll rephrase that. If you have ever uh, watched a soccer game uh, from England, let's say, for example, the English Premier League, uh, there are which boast teams like Manchester United and some other team called Manchester something and Liverpool and Chelsea and uh, all of those, uh, some of those other famous teams. Okay? Uh, you will, unless you've been living in a broom closet, you will have heard there that uh, the, the country, let's say, who brought this sport to the world uh, were the English, the British. And what they did was there, they managed to win the World Cup only once in their history. Once the people who invented the game won it in 1966 for the first and the only time. And if you ever watch a game of soccer in the uh, in England, uh, you'll hear this mentioned at least once, uh, usually per every game. So they're going back six decades. But anyway, uh, there what they did was they drafted in this phenomenal Frenchman. And uh, they were trying to make a difference because they took him in, I think it was from Leeds United to play in the legendary forward position there for Manchester United. And he truly, truly, truly did make a difference when he was focused on putting the ball into the net. Uh, uh, otherwise, there he was trying to become an actor. He now is an actor. He's, he's a, he was a much, much better football player than he was an actor. Uh, but uh, let's say there he was trying during one of his soccer games uh, to audition for the new role in the uh, new Karate Kid movie. Uh, with Ralph Macchio, Pat Moriagi, <laughs> uh, what is it, William Zabka, uh, their uh, Polish name. And uh, there, this is, it means frog, yeah, Zabka. And uh, th this, this is what happens. So this was a great, 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 an iconic poster. Eric was born, yeah? So it's like a complete engage. Oh, you have got my attention. And this is the first part of this four letter acronym from uh, delivered by Alec Baldwin in that movie, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. And incidentally, Glen means uh, green. Uh, it's, a, it's an Irish word, it's a Gaelic word, okay? Uh, so Glen means green. So it's like all about the green, Gary, the, the fields, okay? Uh, Glen Ross, attention, do I have your attention? You certainly have my attention there with a poster like that. And we also have the other ones of the of the Wonder Woman and the Wonder Woman pose. It's a very, very iconic poster. And it's one there that all of you coaches should try to uh, replicate, to emulate uh, inside your marketing messages whenever you're putting your images there. Because of course you're selling you and you're selling your services, okay? Uh, so then we go on, and then it's all about the I, interested. Are you interested? Now, again, because of the funnel, the automation sequences, there, if you involve us, if you involve myself and my team, there we can show you how to do this much faster, uh, because then what we're dealing with is, as we progress down through the funnel, and you see the people with their scores, with their points, then they are truly becoming very, very interested, okay? Then it's decision time. Decision, have you made your decision, sir or madam? And then the last one, of course, the all important CTA, the action. Can I have your card details, please? Okay, that's what it is. You put them up, excuse me, you put them up a payment link and then you ask them, okay? 
Have I made it clear? Bum, bum, bum. So remember, what we've just gone through there is the ABC and the AIDA. Now, before we uh, come on to the next part, what I want you to do next is I want you to download the 12 questions. Uh, this is what it's called, the 12 questions to enrolling more high paying clients framework script. And hint, there are more than 12 questions, but please, uh, you should never use more than 12 questions. But if you will notice that there are a high number of them that deal with the challenges, okay? Now then, this is what I say, whenever you're, when you next have one of these one-to-one, -one, these coach on deck or these discovery calls or these business upgrade calls, in other words, these non-sales calls, as I like to call them, because you're delivering value, value, value by helping people, by showing people the way and by making it into a no-brainer no of a decision. Just like the person there depicted in the diagram, which he's trying to help these people uh, up onto the shelf, okay? Now, make sure you make written notes now during the conversation and attribute these notes. In other words, store these notes later in a CRM, a content relationship management system. For example, Kartra, ClickFunnels, or you could put it into Zero, or you could put it into HubSpot, or you could put it into uh, JD Edwards, or you could put it into Salesforce or Salesforce Essentials, whatever you want. Okay. I use JotNote Pro to do this there. I'm always there making notes. Or I use an Apple Pen. So some of you would say to me, why do I not always use the Apple Pen? Because then it's stored in the cloud. It's stored in my iCloud. Uh, because I have uh, two children and even though they've got their own devices, which I've purchased for them, uh, their devices are always out of battery uh, because they cannot be bothered, their little buttons, to recharge them. So then what they do is they come along and they take their father's devices. So quite often when I take out my Apple Pen, I turn on my iPad. 0% or 1% or 2% battery. And they go, oh yes, well, we've left you 2%. Thank you very much. And this is why I use the app uh, JotNote Pro because JotNote Pro can take a full uh, scan of the page and it can uh, convert my handwriting, even my handwriting with Parkinson's, et cetera, into uh, OCR. In other words, optical character recognition, uh, readable text uh, that you can then store inside your, your cloud or inside your CRM system. I recommend that you store it inside your CRM system. Why do I do that? Because you see what you're going to be doing is you're going to be focusing on this big box. And this is why I want you to draw a huge rectangular box. If you're using an A4 or whatever you call it in North America, what is it, 11 and a half inches by 12 and a half? I can't remember the size, I'm sorry. Uh, but those, those big rectangular sheets of paper, the, the yellow ones uh, in, in North America. And you will note there that you're going to be drawing a big box that's going to occupy quite a large percent, let's say about 20 to 25 percent of the page. So a huge box. And inside that, I want you to write the word challenges or objections. And you will note that as you go through that script, those 12 questions to enrolling those high paying clients, you will notice that there are about five out of the 12 questions. And those five questions are compulsory. You have to ask them. And you have to ask some of them even two times, just like Steve Jobs does. And then you have to listen. You have to listen, okay? Yes, after you ask the questions, let them speak. Then repeat their answers back to them. And for one of the questions, you have to repeat it because it is so important. And note them down and file them away. Now, why do you file them away? You see, quite often these people need two or more closes, okay? Two or more of these connection sessions, sessions uh, not sausages, two, two or more of these connection sessions. Uh, once during the webinar, once during the presentation, and then afterwards during this non-sales one-to-one -one call. I remember, you know, like sometimes it is quite difficult to close people in a webinar because they're always conscious about all of the other people. And I remember there we've hosted like, tons and tons of webinars and you're sitting there at the end and you're going okay any questions and maybe you might get one or two or three questions and then you get a lot of text messages you get a lot of text messages a lot of whatsapp messages because you've given out your number there during the thing and they're going hi paul uh can i speak to you uh afterwards hi paul can we schedule a call perhaps together and they're all sitting there on the on the screen so you know you've got about 15 because uh, i think 15 is a comfortable number on the uh, on the Zoom window, in the Zoom room, let's say. 
and the people are very quiet, but they're texting, 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 texting. Hello, yes, I'm interested. This is why I'm staying in. And you're asking them, you know, there's just dead air. There's just dead air. So you're asking them some questions, da, 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 da. And maybe you might get one or two or three answers. But uh, quite often people are conscientious because they think they're, that they're uh, being perceived as something whenever they're going to go for it. But what they don't realize is that uh, <laughs> the reason that everybody else is still hanging on in the Zoom room is because they thought that everybody else was going to leave and only they were having those challenges. No, no, no. The reality is probably everybody in the room are having some of those challenges. There are some of those experiences, some of those, they've all experienced some of these objections and they didn't know how to diffuse these objections. Okay. Now in, in the next lesson, you see in the ultimate offer blueprint, you're going to learn to blow these away and you're going to learn how important it is. Okay. Now, remember, this is the recap. Everybody, every single person out there has objections, okay? And you have to, you have to, you must address them. Because if you do not address them before the close, in other words, whenever you're going to be asking them for their action, you know, can I have your credit card details, please, sir, madam? Uh, then if you do not address them, then they're going to be thinking about these objections, about these challenges during the entire time that you're selling to them, that you're pitching to them. And then during the close, the offer presentation itself. So there's a complete lack of focus going on. And, you know, the, the chances are that they won't buy. They might buy, but there are, there's a strong possibility that they might not buy. Whereas if you do address these challenges and address all of them. If they, you know, you just keep asking, have you any more objections? Have you any more challenges? Do to do to do until you've got them all. And then you repeat them back to them. And then sometimes they'll think, give them time to think, give them lots and lots of time to think. Okay. And if they don't have enough time, then schedule another session with them. Get another session booked in because you have to. You have to be like that bomb disposal expert. You have to diffuse. You have to detonate all of these objections before you proceed on to the ultimate offer blueprint. Otherwise, you, you won't get there. You won't get there. OK. And we will also readdress these objections in the close, the offer itself. So you will go through it and you'll say, OK, uh, Bob, right, this is what we're going to do now. There, if, if I've done my homework properly, uh, there, you've, had the, you've experienced the following challenges. Maybe you think it's not a good fit for you or a great fit for you. Maybe you think uh, it's, uh, it's too expensive. Let me equate that. Uh, maybe you think that you don't have time, whereas the, the actual purpose of this course, this program, is to save you time so that you can focus on what, you're, what you were put on this earth to do. And that's to continue to provide excellent coaching, excellent mentoring, excellent speaking services. OK. And by the way, you see, if I were trying to sell to you, like I know all of you have already obviously purchased my course. Uh, but if I were trying to sell my course or my program to you just now by dealing with all of your objections head on, I've just done it. You see, because once you remove all of those things, it becomes like that clear blue digital ocean that I showed you at the start of this presentation. And when I said, dare to be outstanding, dare to be outstanding. Remember, go outside, get it there, just like just to, to illustrate the concept. I know it sounds silly, but whenever you do that and the person asks you, hi, uh, where are you, Prudence? I'm standing outside. Why are you standing outside? Quite simply because I am outside standing and it just gives you that mental sort of imagery you know take that picture of you in the wonder woman pose just like the picture i showed you a few moments ago of eric cantona okay and this is what it's all about because you see what's coming next i know we have to deal with omnipresence i know we have to deal with the offer blueprint but what is coming next it's very important because what is coming next? We're going to go through the underground, underground underdog advantage, one of these seminal works uh, from one of the, the people I like to listen to, Dean Graciosi. Uh, and you're going to see why this is such an important, uh, an important teaching. We're going to go through uh, the ultimate offer blueprint. 
And we're going to go through in particular this 6HTO, H2O, H2O, like water, and or formula. Okay. And uh, you're going to learn why that is so, so, so important. Then we're going to go through uh, the unique understanding. In other words, because of all of these steps that have gone before, we are becoming like a fortune teller, a clairvoyant. And we are developing a unique understanding of these people's pain points, of their blind spots, of their challenges, of their objections there that they might have. Okay. And this is why it's so important. This lesson is so important. And ultimately, you see, you become something there by putting these strategies in place. And anybody, any of you who have ever gone to any of the Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins uh, conferences, I've uh, I've seen their Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins a few times in London, England, in the United Kingdom. Absolutely amazing. But if any of you have gone there, you will see what uh, he and his team are trying to propel you to transform you into. And this is why it's so important. OK, so then that's that one. And as always uh, there, we always bring uh, conclude the lesson with the I love it when a plan comes together from the legendary A team uh, from Colonel Hannibal, uh, John Smith, B.A. Baracus, Murdoch and Face. Uh, there and say thank you to all of you for watching this lesson there this has been the lesson about the objection handling okay we had a little bit of humor at the beginning with the outstanding but it is so important now we're also going to have the lessons there where we deal with the offer we're going to start to shape the offer and then we're also going to deal with the omnipresence uh, the omnipresence by using the metricool.com OK, so anyway, thank you all for watching from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward to seeing you inside uh, the ICANN or the eight step, the complete add to, add to sale framework. And remember, if any of you would like to get there faster, just type in the words calendar.icandor.net into your browser. And uh, myself or a member of my team, uh, you'll be booked in to speak with one of us. Uh, then make sure you turn up, make sure you're ready to take notes. And then let's see if we can get you some results even faster. OK, thank you all very, 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 very much uh, from the bottom of my heart for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. And now it's becoming more prevalent than ever. Uh, it's me, PG Max, saying peace out. Bye for now. Bye bye.